Mr. Jan Dikuma, President of International Skating Union. Dr. Sia Sakari Rasakaran, the President of the Fikan Speed Skating Association of Thailand. Honorable members of the International Skating Union, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good evening and swadi krap. First of all, um, I have to apologize for the table in front here that you can't see me because this podium is um, a little taller than I expected. And, uh, <laughs> it's, uh, Actually, if I'm standing on a pair of skates, you could see me clearly. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the Royal Thai government and the kingdom and the entire nation of Thailand, I would like to extend our heartfelt appreciation to the International Skating Union for the opportunity for us, for Thailand, to host the ISU 58th Ordinary Congress this evening. Now, Thailand has been recognized for quite a few years now that we are one of the world's best countries to handle COVID-19, and that recognition came from the World Health Organization. And now we are on our road to recover our economy, our society, our community in many dimensions. And I strongly believe, ladies and gentlemen, that the COVID-19 for the past few years has been a loud knock on our door, on mankind's door, from Mother Nature, saying that, please, stop hurting our earth. Us human has to do something to stop it. Otherwise, the second knocking on our door won't be as pleasant as a COVID-19. And during the past two years, we have seen tourism industries, we have seen mice industries have gone down the drain, completely stopped, come to stand still, damaging the entire global economy, the society, and many more. And therefore, moving forward into the post-pandemic era, mankind really need to take the word environment into the account of whatever you're doing after the COVID pandemic. Every breath that we take from now on is going to become more and more valuable. As a matter of fact, even every single breath of a living tree is now tradable. I'm sure many of us know here that the carbon of the, the concept of the carbon credit and how the Article 6.2 and 6.4 of the Paris Agreement is now in effect encouraging every country to come up with a mechanism to mitigate the greenhouse gas emission while at the same time increase the forest coverage to promote the absorption part of the equation of the carbon neutrality. The non-tariff measures, such as the European Union's Carbon Border Adjustment Mechanism, or CBAM, is being implemented as we speak to make sure that businesses and industries around the world are forced to reduce carbon footprint of their products. The world will now shift from the era of fossil fuel, or black gold, towards the new era of green gold, or carbon credit. And Thailand's Greenhouse Gas Management Organization, or TGO, under the supervision of the Ministry of Natural Resources and Environment, has finalized the carbon credit trading mechanism, allowing businesses, both domestic and international, to trade their green gold and shall be the trading hub for Southeast Asia in the very near future. Our Prime Minister, General Prayutjan Ocha, announced on the 1st of November last year at Glasgow during COP26 that Thailand is going to achieve our carbon neutrality by 2050 and net zero GHG emission by 2065. And at the moment, all hands are on deck to make sure that Thailand is on track with our ambitious targets. And along the way, ladies and gentlemen, sports play a very important role in helping Thailand to achieve the 2050 and the 2065 that I mentioned earlier. I'm very pleased to learn that the first ever, the Figure and Speed Skating Association of Thailand is the first ever national sport association to implement the carbon neutral competitions. You saw pictures in the video earlier. Those competitions were carbon neutral. They, they arranged the carbon neutral event. For example, the Congress this evening. None other, no other sports association in Thailand have ever done so. This is the first time ever. And the association is also very, very keen on the environmental issues, ranging from waste management 
to minimizing the food waste. Now, how do I know that the association has been working so hard and very keen on the environmental problem? Well, because the, uh, my dear former president of the association, currently the ISU member, she is my dear beloved wife sitting right here in front of me. <laughs> so you can all understand that this evening I'm standing here on this stage in two capacities. The first capacity is as a minister of natural resource and environment, talking about environmental issues just now. And the second position, second capacity is as a husband. And to many, the event this evening is just another ISU ordinary congress. But to me, as a husband, the fact that this congress is taking place here is a true reflection of a woman single-handedly fight against all odds to make sure that this event take place right here, right now. I have witnessed her passion. I have witnessed her commitment. I've witnessed her devotion. I've seen her tears of joy, tears of disappointment, so that this Congress here tonight is not a dream, but a reality. As a minister, you saw in the picture earlier this afternoon, I only serve Thailand, just Thailand. But as an ISU council member, my wife, she serves the world. And, and judging by the amount of time we get to see one another nowadays, I dare say that she has made a lot of sacrifices and commitment to her position as an ISU council member. So figure, figure and speed skating is no longer just her work. It actually broadens up her vision, broadens up her horizon. It opens up an untapped capabilities. It has become her passion, her ambition. I dare say that is actually her final piece of jigsaw that would enable her to serve the global community. But the road ahead of her is not easy. It's anything but easy, but it's very tough. And her goal is extremely challenging. I can only remind her as a husband that it is never about the destiny. It's never about the destination. It's not about the goal. It's about the journey. It's about how she gets there, darling. And I merely hope that the skating communities around the world can see her just the way that they see her. Distinguished delegates, ladies and gentlemen, may I once again reiterate on how grateful we are as the host country for the Congress of the oldest sports organization in the world to see and welcome all of you here this evening. And I wish you a very successful Congress while finding time to explore the wonders of the Pearl of the Andaman, Phuket. Thank you, thank you, and thank you. Kapan Krap.